The starter daughters chase qualifying will be my final race of the week. Two miles, seven furlongs, 0 to 120 again. Jennifer Connolly, Matt Cooper, Grudge Belt, James Shea, Corbin's Raw, Graham Clutterbuck, Unix Picasso, Alex Cherry, Croggy in Detail, James Shea, The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland, Elvis, and Cavo Dora for Martin Lillum, Eternal Blade, Padraig Hogan, Tunisia, Matt Cooper, Billera, Tudor for Graham Clutterbuck, Fanon Alter Boitron for Adam Old and Violets No Weighty for Alex Cherry. They're away and racing. Once again on this unique course and Elvis goes off into the lead. It's to the second. If he puts a good round of jumping in. Could do well today Elvis. He doesn't quite get home all the time over three miles. And his daughter Pokes and Annie won yesterday. Um, and the Monster National over three miles, and that's a reasonable sign. And Elvis took a couple of races last season, so just tends to go off in the lead and doesn't quite last home. But dropping down that one furlong is the experiment today. And see what happens. I could see him being run over shorter distances from today if things go successfully. It's clear at the moment. Leading by about five lengths to the Wild Witch. We see too many Joshua Sutherlands in 0 to 120s. Here comes Croggy in detail. I don't think Joshua's got any in the Hunters this week though. And Eternal Blade, Cavo Doros after that one. And I say you can't blame him for doing that because it's going to be pretty tight. There's a fall there, Croggy in detail's gone. Looks like it's going to be really tight at the top in both codes, so you've got to get the winners where you can get there. And if your horse is qualified, you run it. Um, I don't think anybody saying you shouldn't, that's what I say. And Elvis is the leader. He's probably 10 lengths clear now of the Wild Witch in second. Jennifer Connolly third. Unix Picasso is in fourth. And then Eternal Blade after that one. And Cavo Doro. And Grudge Belt and Corbin's Raw. Get then to the back four or five. Tunisia, Billera Tudor, and over the water. Oh, there's no waiting. Finally, Fanon Alto Boitron, the back marker. He always skips over the next. A clear lead from the Wild Witch in second. Bit of a mistake that time by Elvis. And a faller. Cavo Doro's gone. So. So good there for Elvis' his stable mate. And crashes out again. That's a second fall, I think, in three weeks for that one. And Elvis the leader. On the Wild Witch, Jennifer Connolly. Then Eternal Blade, Unix Picasso after that one. Corbin's Raw is next. So they take this turn. Is an undisputed lead, doesn't normally get that. So maybe another thing that affects him, he's normally got something taking him on for the lead. Bowling along happily in front today. Jennifer Connolly second, the Wild Witch is third, Eternal Blade four. And a Unix Picasso, Tunisia is getting closer. So is Billera Tudor. Elvis over the tenth. Jennifer Connolly in second. The Wild Witch is third. Eternal Blade four. Oh, remaining pretty constant as I take this ditch. Elvis dropped that one really well. So too did the horse in fourth. And Grudge Belt's gone at the back now as well. So James Shays lost both of his in this. Come towards the next with Elvis. Just three lengths up. Long old run to the next, you can see it in the distance there. And Elvis in front. Jennifer Connolly second. Wild Witch and Eternal Blade. Unix Picasso is making good ground. Also coming through from the back is Billera Tudor and Corbin's Roar as well. The race will start to unfold shortly. They've only got 
three to get over. This is the third last. Elvis steps over that one in front. Mistake by Unix Picasso. Jennifer Connolly's moved closer in second as they get over the second last. And Elvis took that one really nicely. Mistake on the outside by Eternal Blade. The Wild Witch and Billa are Tudor are now coming through to challenge. There's plenty of chances. Four foot left to go. That's the final fence. And this is the huge run. They've got a longer run in on the chase than they have on the hurdles. And Eternal Blade now goes into the lead. Elvis tries to respond with a bit of flat speed and gets up on the inside to regain the lead. So it's Elvis from Eternal Blade. Billa Ratuda looks to be going well. Then the Wild Witch. Jennifer Connolly after that one. Then Unix Picasso and Tunisia gap back to Corbin's Raw. They've still got two and a half furlongs to go. And Elvis is in the lead being trapped and chased by Billa Ratuda. Billa Ratuda coming up on the outside to take it up. Elvis is now coming under pressure. Then comes the Wild Witch in third. These three are clear of Jennifer Connolly as they race down there into the final furlong and a half. And Billa Ratuda looks to be going well in the lead. Wild Witch is trying to close. Elvis is now looking a bit one pace. Back in fourth is Jennifer Connolly. These four are miles clear of the rest of them. But it's Billa Ratuda who's going to race up towards the line and take the chase for the chase qualifier. It's Billa Ratuda who takes it. Second is the Wild Witch. Going to be close for third. Jennifer Connolly just from Elvis in fourth. And Tunisia back in fifth. Eternal Blade after that. And all the way back to Violet. No weighty. And Billa Ratuda takes it for Graham Clutter, the Wild Witch second for Joshua Sutherland, Jennifer Connolly third for Matt Cooper, Elvis for Martin Lewis fourth, I think those four qualify for the final, Tunisia for Matt Cooper was fifth, I'll pass you over to Graham now, he's going to take you through the Hunter Chases to conclude week three. <laughs> 